Hey, it's Doug Perry, and I am a realtor with Property Consultants in Bucktown. And today on Logan Square and West Town Homes Live, I'm going to share part two of my series entitled How to Save Thousands of Dollars When You Buy. So let's go right to it. All right. So the first question you need to ask yourself is, how sellers set their asking price. For you to understand how much to offer for a home you're interested in, it's important for you to know how sellers price their homes. Here are four common strategies you'll start to recognize when you begin to view homes. Number one, clearly overpriced. Every seller wants to realize the most amount of money they can for their home. And real estate agents know this. If more than one agent is competing for a listing, an easy way to win the battle is to overinflate the value of the home. This is done far too often with many homes that are priced 10, even 20% over their true market value. This is not in the seller's best interest because in most cases, the market won't be full. As a result, uh, the home could languish on the market for months, uh, leaving the seller with a couple of important drawbacks. Number one, uh, the home is likely to be labeled as a troubled house by other agents, leading to a lower than market price when an offer is finally made. And number two, uh, the seller has been greatly inconvenienced with having to constantly have his or her home in showing condition for nothing. These homes often expire off the market, forcing you to go through the listing process all over again. Number two, somewhat overpriced. About three quarter of the homes on the market are five to 10% overpriced. These homes will also sit on the market longer than they should. There's usually one of two factors at play here. Either you believe in your heart that your home is really worth this much, despite what the market has indicated. After all, there's a lot of emotion caught up in this issue, or you've left some room for negotiating. Either way, this strategy will cost you both in terms of time in the market and ultimate price received. Number three, price correctly at market value. Some sellers understand that real estate is part of the capitalistic system of supply and demand and will carefully and realistically price their homes based on a thorough analysis of other homes on the market. These competitively priced homes usually sell within a reasonable time frame and very close to the asking price. And finally, number four, price below the fair market value. Some sellers are motivated by a quick sale. These homes attract multiple offers and sell fast, usually in a few days at or above the asking price. But be cautious that the agent suggesting this method is doing so with your best interest in mind. So I hope you got some value out of that. If you'd like to keep your finger on the pulse of real estate in any area that you choose, sign up for Market Snapshot. It's absolutely free. And all you have to do is click the link. The link you see on the screen is also in the show notes. Click the link in the show notes. What is Market Snapshot? Well, its name suggests what it is. It's a snapshot of real estate activity in any area that you choose. You get an email, you click the link. What do you see? You see houses on a map. They're color coded according to status. New on the market, um, been on the market for a week or more, under contract, canceled, sold, expired, you name it. You can drill down into the houses. You can see um, room dimensions, flooring. You can see detailed information on schools like distance to the school, student teacher ratio, school grade. Um, you can also see information on shops, restaurants, parks, you name it, as well as uh, reviews. So uh, if you want it, just go ahead and click the link. Uh, there's no obligation to buy or sell. You can unsubscribe at any time. If you have any questions about real estate, call me, Doug Perry, at 312-572-9801 or email me at dperry at propertyconsultants.com. If you'd like to learn more about me or learn about real estate in general, visit my website at logansquarewesttownhomes.com. There's a dash between each word, but don't worry about typing it in. All you have to do is click the link that's in the show notes. I hope to see you soon. Would love to see you even better.